What's up guys, Rob Kuhn here. We're gonna review the biggest pot in streaming history. Let's go ahead and get into the action here where the blinds are 200, 400, 800, 1600, 3200, and the action is folded around two hands. Hands decides to make it a little less than 3x to 9,000. There's a lot of dead money in the middle. Uh, with an offsuit ace, this is very standard. Hmm. Ben makes a loose call out of the small blind with 8 5 of clubs. 9,000 here from hands. This is your thing. Stand up. You think so? Aggressive. Eric has a slightly interesting decision here. He can most certainly 3 bet if he thinks hands is raising too wide uh, and just take down the pod pre. He can also call and allow people to have worse ace x and the implied odds that come along with that on ace high boards. This is my very first time playing. <laughs> My dog so disgusted that he took it, he ripped his Hermes. Keating in the triple straddle with 3,200 invested, only has to call 5,800 more. Uh, with a suited king, this is just a very standard call. Scarf off, so I've had enough of this place. Four players. Get this fucking thing off my neck and let's get out of here. <laughs> Too hot with it on, Chip. right? Chip. No, oh, Keating flops a king high flush draw. 25. Hands has got. Action checks around to Hans, who decides to bet 25000 and to 37000 Now, this is actually a kind of an interesting decision if you're Hans, because there's three other opponents in the in the hand. It's not as easy as it seems. On one hand, he does have the backdoor properties going for him. He can turn a backdoor straight draw, he can turn a backdoor flush draw, and potentially continue to bluff those hands. On the other hand, it's kind of nice to just check back, realize a little bit of your equity, and then continue from there. But he is telling a very credible story, uh, which does, you know, get Ben to quickly fold e the seven bottom the pair. Of spades. So this better start a C bet here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Action folds around to Keating, and he has to call 25,000. There's no reason for Keating to really check raise. Hans is telling a very credible story by betting into three players, and you know, also raising preflop. Um, he's continuing to tell the same story. Uh, Keating doesn't need to check raise and get it in here for 600,000 apiece, as it's just not necessary. And Keating calls 87,000 here. Turn is a four, so hands turns open ended. Keating has the bottom end of a gut shot, which wouldn't be good if it comes in. So a little combo draw, but the three's no good. 70. And hands gonna bet 70,000. And this pot getting up there 220. Hans has an interesting decision on the turn as the four diamonds is actually a really good card for Keating's range and not so good for Hans range. Um, Keating when he calls the flop can easily have a hand like 7-8. Uh, he can have a pair plus flush draw, a pair plus open-ended. So betting a7 doesn't exactly accomplish a lot. Yes he does have the blockers to 7-8 himself but would he raise 7-8 pre? Um, the answer I'm not really sure. Uh, most of the time you would see players fold 7-8 off, maybe a 7-8 suited. There's only four combos of that. Um, so this this range is actually pretty good for Keating. Keating can have two pair. Keating can have some straights. Uh, pair plus flush draws. Maybe he has a hand like 10-7. Stuff like that. I mean, there's just a lot of a lot of hands that once Keating calls the flop, he is very likely going to continue on the turn. So I would have preferred to see hands check here. Regardless, Keating goes for the call, and we're off 27, to the river. 27,000. And the river's the seven of spades. So Keating here makes the king high flush. Hands has the ace of spades in his hand. The one-liner out there, too. And Keating is going to lead... Doesn't want this one to get checked through, it looks like. And boy, that looks like 120, something like that.
155,000. 155? Keating shows great awareness here and leads for 155,000 into 237,000. Um, the reason Keating is leading here is because the board is so wet that most of hand's value range, other than perhaps a flush, is going to check back. So let's just say he has a hand like pocket aces, pocket kings, queens, two pair, uh, even a hand as strong as like fives or sixes could easily check back because it's very hard to get worse to call. So if your hands here are sitting with pocket, you know, fives or sixes, there's a very good chance that you actually just go ahead and check back with the two card flush and one card straight. Keating recognizes this and bets 155,000. Side note here, Keating can easily be turning uh, many pairs into a bluff. Hands that come to mind are 6x of diamonds. Um, these hands would be very nice to turn into a bluff as the board is very, very wet. And if you're going to lead, you have to find some bluffs. So if you're going to lead a flush, you need to be turning some pairs into a bluff. There's really no other hands you can actually turn into a bluff on this, on this particular board because it is so wet. 155,000. And would hands ever think about doing something? He's got the ace of spades in his hand. He knows Keating doesn't have the nut flush, but if Keating ever had a flush, I just I don't know if he's ever folding. Is that a tower of chocolates? Or hands weighing his options here. Uh, between four Three. call and shove, I would think. Thanks. 300 more. So Keating has about 309 behind. I'm all in. And he's all in! Hans is gonna pull up. As we can see, this is not an easy decision for Keating anymore. Uh, yes, on one hand, he does have the third nuts. On the other hand, who makes this bluff? I mean, it is a very, very strong and wild bluff. Now, Hans, of course, is utilizing the fact that he has the ace of spades blocker and, you know, blocking the, you know, the second nuts, rather. Um, but on the other hand, he does have a seven in his hand, which is not actually a good thing uh, because he starts to block hands like seven, eight that perhaps Keating can lead with if he does have a straight. Um, and wants to get value, he did, you know, he could be trapping the turn and bet the river. So you don't want to have a seven in your hand necessarily. I would like to see hands with a, a, a different card than a seven. Uh, actually, any other pair I think would be better with a seven. Uh, he starts to block some of the two pair combos. So hands just purely utilizing the fact that he has the ace of spades and goes for the bluff, which is very reasonable. I mean, if you are going to have any bluffs in your range, you definitely want to be blocking uh, effectively the nuts. Bluff raise all in with the stiff ace of spades. Unbelievable. Keating here with the king high flush. Loses to the ace high flush and there is a straight flush combo out there. If he calls, this will be 1.16 million. And he calls! I'm good. He so Kidding takes for a couple tanks for a couple minutes and then does end up making the call. Um of course this is actually not that trivial of a decision. Uh for Keating, yes, you have the third nuts, but not many people make this bluff. Um, he does find out the good news after a little bit of deliberation and does make the call and wins the biggest pot in streaming history.